All right, what is up, guys? Hope you guys are doing good. With my boy Marcel, what's happening? We're in the TSX, and this was to totally last minute, but uh, always is. Always is. Uh, we're on our way to San Diego. It's currently 6:37. Um, so we're gonna get there in about like 40, 50 minutes. But I found this deal on OfferUp for a car. I've been wanting a project car since you guys know I'm getting rid of the Civic. It's pretty much part of out now. Um, so I've been needing another project car. So I've just been looking and this popped up. I hit up Marcel, I hit up the guy and we're on our way. So bust some missions like usual. So. Always. <laughs> when did we bust that mission to LA for this TSX? About three weeks ago, not even a whole month yeah. yet. So around there, three, four weeks, we just busted a mission for his car. And this thing is solid now. If you guys haven't checked out that video, go check it out. Front end was crashed in and it looks it looks tits yeah. now. Busted. Yes sir. Um so now my car has some front end damage too, but it doesn't look as bad. So hopefully it looks like that in the pictures and it's not worse. But I'm excited either way. It's yeah, it's it's a good day. That shit gonna be man. I'm, I'm really excited. Some 20s guys. on that bitch. Some 22s on that bitch. Oh. Woo! Them and them pink. what is good guys hope you guys are doing good so we picked up this car friday and it's now monday i was busy over the weekend finally back with the e36 and i'm just i'm so excited so i've been saying i wanted another bmw i've always wanted an e36 um if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know i had an e92 before that oh was they just pulled up Yeah, so before my E92, I was actually looking at E36s and E46s. So I've always wanted this car and it was just an absolute deal. Yeah, it has very minor front end damage. It's really not that bad. Um, the only thing is we're gonna have to figure out how to open up the hood because it's jammed. We already tried pulling uh, the cables and all that. So it looks like I'm gonna have to cut out a, a hole and open it up from the top. But yeah, it's really, it's really not that bad at all. Just needs to replace the hood fender and a headlight and there's actually headlights inside the car i'll show you guys them right now all right guys so we tried everything to open up the hood but uh sebastian pulled it yep. yeah pony up in the shop too but so I, I wasn't able to open up the hood so i bought the car without even looking under the hood but it sounded good we tried everything so what, what we about to do sebastian we're about to cut this cut this hood yeah we're I like about, the goggles, bro. thank you thank you I can't find my glasses but <laughs> These are even better. Yeah, so we're thinking, I mean, the only way really is to just cut it from the top and open up the latch from up top because we tried opening or pulling the cables from underneath and yeah, it's just, it's just jammed, it's stuck, so. This is easier. Yeah. And I need a new hood anyways, obviously, so. That's where it locks, right? Yeah, perfect cut so we can just weld it back. All right, so what my boy did, since this is where it latches, he just cut around it, and we'll worry about that later. It's gonna be stuck there, and now we should uh, should be able to lift up the hood, right? Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. Dang, it's pretty clean under here. 
I thought it was gonna be way worse for some reason. But wow, look at that. Look at the damage, guys. Wow. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. It's actually cool. Yeah, I could. I probably don't even have to touch it. What do you think? Nah. Yeah. yeah. Realistically, just yeah, hammer I, it down or something. Yeah, probably. But yeah, guys, I was hoping I would just have to replace the hood, the headlights, and the fender, and it looks like that. But damn, yeah. shout out to my boy. Where's the? Yeah, look how stock it looks. That's Does that have a fucking holder or is it shocks or what? Oh, there's no shocks. Yeah, so I'm really happy, guys. This thing has 243,000 miles and. It looks better than fucking the Mustang, but that shit has a lot of miles too. But uh, point is, I thought it was gonna be terrible in here, but I'm glad it looks pretty good. Now I just need a hood. Man, have to worry about this. All right, guys. So my battery is pretty low. I had to jump it earlier. Right now, we're gonna see if we can uh, kickstart it. You think we could do it? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes. Oh, I did. Hey, did I get you on camera yet? I'll be so. Hey, bro. What, what do you think, bro? What do you think? What do you think? Hold on, let's close this. Let's close this. What do you think, sir? Gotta take what was that, sir? Hold on, let me take a couple steps. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a new hood. This shit looks pretty rough right now. Um, looks like fucking Predator hit that shit. <laughs> but we're gonna see if we get a pop starter right now. We'll see. We should have enough uh, space. Reverse it. Reverse you, it. you pop starter, reverse right. it. It's all the way left up. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, it's all the way left up. I think it's first. Yeah, go all. You'll feel it all the way there. Oh, you there you go. Oh, woo! Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> Super healthy, guys. Oh, and also, I know you guys are gonna point out the tow hitch. Don't I? I don't. I don't fucking know why he put a tow hitch on that. I really don't. I'm gonna take it off. Uh, all right, all right, you're right, you're right, so. Bless you. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna need a new battery for sure, but check this out, guys. I've never had a sub over. <laughs> Yeah, so when I drove it home from San Diego, that was about, I would say like an hour drive to here, so the temperature was fine the whole time. It did say to check the coolant, but it stayed halfway the entire time. I'm, I'm gonna still add some, but yeah, this car runs good. And I know the gauge works because I've seen it warm up. Yeah, so it runs super good. I'm gonna go to the junkyard, get a hood and fender. And there's headlights, I'm gonna show you guys right now, but crazy guys. Legit, I'll, I'll probably be able to just slap on the new hood and the fender without having to uh, fix that. Maybe just smack it in a little bit. The inside of the, well, I'm pointing at the hood. I might just smack that a little bit. I don't know, I'll see how the hood fits, but yeah guys, crazy. Come up. It looks, looks a little rough right now, but as soon as I get the headlights, hood, and fender on, and I don't know if this bumper is salvageable, I kind of like the M3 ones, so I might just get a M3 bumper and paint it. Uh, so yeah, super excited guys, let me know what you think. Got the old project and the new one. This car is going to be going away really soon. Literally nothing else I got to take off it um, left, so... Yeah, gonna sell as a rolling shell really soon. It's gonna be out of here. But E36 vlogs are gonna be coming now. I'm really excited. I've always wanted to drift with the homies. Brian goes a lot, so yeah, I've always wanted to learn. Yeah, a lot, a lot of content. For sure, wanna end up drifting it eventually after I get a solid, you know, do some maintenance. Obviously, register it and uh, fix these bottle pan or replace these body panels. That's it. it literally, she'll, she'll clean up nicely. We decided to clean up the shop. It was getting a little dirty in here, so I'm glad uh, the guys felt the same, but we put in work. I'm gonna bring the, the E36 in here just for a little bit, just to talk about it a little bit more before the end of the night, and that'll be the end of the vlog, but uh, clean shop is, is way better.
Yes, sir. It just it just makes you feel good. I don't know how to explain it. Clear mind. Yeah, for for real, clear, clear mind. Space, clear mind. Yeah, so we're gonna finish up and then get the thirty six in there. All right, guys, how we're looking. Shop looks a lot more spacious and clean. We just pushed the prelude in here. My boy's gonna do some work on it. You getting yeah, the works yes or what? Sir, yes, sir. Dude, it, it looks so good in here. It looks amazing. It's pristine, too. It's yeah, it really is. The paint, five speed. five speed paint and body, just pretty, pretty good. You don't really see these mint that often, but if I would get a prelude, it'd be a fifth gen or first or second gen. The uh, fifth gen preludes are probably my favorite. But uh, now we're gonna get the E36 in here and should be a, a wrap for the night. All right, so the battery's weak in the E36, so I'm hoping it turns on, we'll see. Let's see. I feel like that's a good sign. Okay, good sign, good sign. Let's see, come on. Oh yeah. I bought this car, I had three quarters of a tank and I drove it from SD and I'm still at half a tank. This thing's pretty good on gas, pretty hyped. I can't wait to, oh, my check engine just came on and then went away. Oh, that's not, let's, uh, let's hope that stays away. But uh, all right, I'm gonna take it to the shop now. <laughs> Alright guys, shop looks good. E36 is in here. Man, I'm just I'm so excited. This car just literally stumbled out of nowhere. I was not expecting to get this car. It was Friday and I was just casually uh browsing off rope, you know, just to see what's out there. And then I had plans later in the day and then I was like, let me just check off for one more time. This came up literally within the hour. I hit the guy up, I showed it to myself. I told him, like, it, like a, I asked him like, this is a steal, right? Cause it was, I'll tell you guys. So the guy posted it up for 1250 and it's manual. And of course, you know, just a little small damage, but I already knew it was not gonna be that bad. Cause look at that, that's literally all the damage. Marcel's TSX was worse than this and the cross tour and the cross tour. so that gave me yeah so that gave me faith and yeah it's not bad at all just need to replace the body panels and this shit came with two two pairs of headlights they look like projectors i don't know if they work but i guess we'll find out but i got two pairs so that's cool i kind of like these though like the oem well i don't even know no these don't even know oem they're like the halos yeah so i don't know but uh so I went to go check out the car and we couldn't open up the hood um, so I really you know I was taking the gamble but it did sound healthy so I offered the guy $900 for a running manual E36 coupe and he took it like this is really a deal that's literally no work at all it's like a couple hundred dollars of parts and this thing will be looking mint literally super happy probably be drifting it soon but first after I get it all you know, solid, do some maintenance on it. Coils. Sheesh. Well, the diff. Well, the diff. Well, I, the diff. I already got my boy yeah. to fucking well, the diff for me, so. That shit will bust it. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited, guys. Parallels. Yeah, oh yeah, if you guys know what the BMW M parallels are, they came off the E39s, like like the M4 packages, but they're like staggered wheels, and the, the rear ones are pretty deep. I don't know, a lot of wheel options. K1s, I like how K1s look on this. Maybe the same wheels I had on the Civic. 
I don't know. A lot of, a lot of fucking. Uh, it's a fresh canvas. I'm excited. So this is. I think this is definitely a good uh, replacement for the Civic. I've always wanted one of these. I had my first car was a BMW, and I've always liked these. The E30s, E36s, E46s. I fell in love with them when he had the BMW. Yeah, my E92. If you guys are OG, <laughs> that was like five, six years ago, but back in the in the Euro game. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please drop a thumbs up for your boy. And if you guys are new, please consider subscribing if you guys want to see a lot of content. A lot, a lot, a lot of content's coming soon. Uh, interior, for sure gonna re replace these seats. They're pretty worn down, but the rears, I'm happy. They're pretty clean. Not bad at all, really. Just a little clean and they're pretty, pretty good condition. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the junkyard for sure. Get some seats, the new center console. And that's it, I have the door panel. I just need to put it back on. And then we're gonna try to pull this out too. Just a little dim right there, but it's not too bad. But it's a running, healthy, manual E36. Yeah, so for sure gonna make a junkyard run sometime this week. Uh, are we still gonna go? Yeah. Let's go Saturday morning. Or Friday, or after work, whenever. Whenever or Saturday morning, either or. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the junkyard, and yeah, as soon as I get the new hood and fender on here and headlight, this car is gonna look so 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 much better. But hope you guys are just as hyped as I am, and yeah, see you guys in the next vlog. Later, guys.